Testing, testing, testing. Uh, PAX Convention! Let's try that again. PAX West, how we doing? Wow, when they told me we were gonna do a drag show here, y'all, I was like, oh, like five or six people. There's like almost 500, 200 of you in here. I don't know, I can't do math. But y'all, thank you for supporting local drag on the internet and the gaming community. If you all do not know who I am, my name is London Bradshaw. I am a Seattle drag artist on Twitch. I am the first black partner drag artist on that platform ever. And I do a lot. I play first person shooter games like Valorant and Dead by, well, Dead by Daylight is not a shooter game, but if I had the opportunity to shoot a killer in Dead by Daylight, I would. Um, but I play Valorant as my main game dressed just like this. So, the straight people are very upset with me all the time, but that's okay. Y'all, we are gonna do a game session and then a drag show at the same time. Is that okay with all of you? Who has never been to a drag show before? Raise your hand. Oh, okay. Hateful, all of you. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Who has been to a drag show before? Raise your hand. All right, so a couple of rules that we have for all of you. Rule number one, we want you to have a good time and make the most noise. Is that okay? Rule number two, if you're not having a good time, you can pretend that you are having a good time and make the most noise. Is that okay? Rule number three, please do not touch the drag artist. We will not touch you or get into your way. It takes a lot of money to look this cheap. All right, sounds good. I have been in drag since two in the afternoon, walking around and getting stared at by all of you, so I'm a little nervous. If you touch me, I will melt away. It is very hot. I walked from my house, because I do live here, I walked from my house in this, and if you take it off, it's just all gonna be like a waterfall. Do you guys wanna meet some of the drag artists that are gonna be here today? Are they ready, are they ready? I can't see you, John B, are they ready? They're ready, okay. These sun, should I take these off real quick? Uh, hello. All right, please welcome to the stage, all the way from Huntsville, Alabama, one of the organizers for this whole entire drag programming today. Please get up for the one and only Marvelous. Marv, welcome to Seattle. How are you doing? I'm so excited! Oh my god, hi Pax West! How are we tonight? Marv has one of the most famous numbers on the internet. We're not gonna talk about it right now, but we will talk about it, because I think that she's gonna do the number here tonight for you. If you've seen it, you've seen it. If you haven't, you haven't. We'll talk about it later. Are you ready to play some games and compete with these drag artists? Love, love games. Say it with us together, ready? Love games, love pink. All right, please, speaking of pink, please welcome one of my local stream queens, a drag team on Twitch, siblings. Give it up for the one and only Hot Pink Shane. Okay, 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 okay. Work it out, work it out. Hot Pink, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing good, how y'all doing? The energy is here. Are you ready to compete against Marv and the number one Italian plumber saga? <laughs> 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 All right, y'all, I tricked this one into being here today. Oh wait, no, there's one more. Uh, well, yeah, I did trick, I tricked him into being here today. He was one of our local drag kings, and I want to say this really proudly and loudly, if you are not booking drag kings and drag shows, or you go to a drag show and there's no drag kings, please let me know or call 1-800-PUT-A-DRAG-KING in your show, okay? Sounds good? Speaking of drag kings, give it up for the one and only King Jack! Okay! Jack, they really are going up for you. Everybody, oh, you want to hear you. So how do you think that today is going? Wah. Do you think that you're going to win this Italian plumber saga? Wah. Um, what do you think about booking drag kings in your show? Do it. 
<laughs> All right, y'all. Our last performer slash contestant today for Italian Plumber Saga is very important to me. We went to high school together. I asked them out in the eighth grade on MySpace, and then they blocked me. But they have taken their drag to another level. They were on a show called Drag Latina Season 2, and they made it. You can say it. Everybody say, ooh. Ah. One of the most professional drag artists in Seattle, one of my best friends, and made it to the top four of that TV show. Everybody get up for Queen Andrew Scott. Wait, don't go any, I mean, you can sing it, because it's true. Oh, you're just gonna run back there, you don't wanna talk to me? No. She's gonna yell at me in the car later. Um, uh, Y'all, I wanna make something really important. This is the first time that PAX West has ever done a drag show ever in the history of PAX West, so give us a round of applause. So we booked some of the most top-notch performances for you so we can continue doing this every year, whether it involves me or them. We just want to make sure drag has a space in conventions like this. So are you all ready? Here we go. So we're going to play a game called Italian Plumber Saga. If it sounds like something that you've heard on the internet before, it has never been on the internet before because I'm not trying to get a lawsuit by a company that's named Nintendo. I mean, N Nim, anyways. We are going to, are we doing, which game are we doing first? Are we doing the matching game? Oh wait, you have your cards. The matching game. Okay, so the rules are, if you get a star or something that looks like a star, but it's not a star, you still can go into it. If you have something that looks like a very ugly drawn turtle, you're out, right? And then the last one is, what's the last one? Oh, if you have something that looks like a very um, ghostly-like, I'm trying to think of what to say. Um, uh, you're also in the game still? Oh, it shuffles the cards. So star, or look like star, you're in. Ugly drawn turtle, you're out. Ghost, most of my exes. Anyway, so can we get the cards up here? Everybody, give it up for the founder of Stream for a Cause. Give it up for Jombie. All right, so King Jack, you are up first. If you get a star or a look-alike star, you can continue to the next round. If you get an ugly drawn turtle, you're out immediately. That side, that side. All right, you gotta get the card back, bestie. <laughs> All right, Hot Pink Shade. Ugly John Turtle, you're out. Ghost shuffles the cards. Star, you keep moving forward. All right. I'm not gonna lie to you, Queen Andrew does not play video games. It's gonna be her that gets the Ugly John Turtle. I can already hear it. All right, Queen Andrew, this is what you get for blocking me on MySpace in the eighth grade. All right, Marv, I'm very nervous for you. Everybody, drum roll please for Marv. Uh, oh. We're gonna shuffle the cards. I have not seen a turtle yet. Wait, we have to go back? Oh, you're gonna keep going until they've all been turtled. Oh. I'm just gonna stand over here and look really hot. All right, Marv, here we go. Everybody say bye, Marv. All right, King Jack, here we go. We're gonna shuffle the cards again. These were hand drawn, everybody. They took a really long time on the airplane here to Seattle. All right, Queen Andrew, I don't think it matters. 
It doesn't matter. You look really good today, Andrew. I mean, everybody looks really good, even. Okay, come on, Hot Pink Shade, you got this, bestie. Here we go, here we go. All right, all right, King Jack, support Drag Kings. Don't get that turtle, bestie. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to keep moving right along. It is a... <laughs> I feel that there's going to be some monopoly anger issues about to arise out of this. This is why I'm hosting and not playing. How many turtles are in this deck? Oh, wow. That's going to be intense. <laughs> I know something. I think we all know something that they don't know, so. Everybody say bye, Andrew. Andrew's from Yakima, Washington. And if you've heard about Yakima, Washington, it's not a safe space. So. <laughs> She's gonna do some things backstage to us. All right, I need Hot Pink on one side and Jack on the other, and you're just gonna pull cards very quickly. You should rock, paper, scissors while the cards are being shuffled right now. Who's gonna go first? Rock, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. 2024, they're like, rock, paper, scissors! All right, ready, face each other. One, two, three, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, Hot Pink, you go first. Oh wait, no, Jack, go first, sorry. Oh my God. Very scary. All right, here we go, Hot Pink. This is it, y'all. This is gonna be the winner of our First game. Yeah, King Jack, what do you have to say? Ha ha ha, I win. All right. The match game, does that mean audience participation? All right, so who feels comfortable coming up here on stage? If you want to play and want to team up with the drag artist, raise your hand. Drag artist, please go around the room safely and grab one person and bring them up here respectfully and safely. While that's happening, y'all, we are going around to let you all know that this event is put on by Stream for a Cause, a Twitch team that runs charities on that platform. Give it up for Stream for a Cause. If you'd like to know more about it, we will be talking about it here shortly. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. We met you at the meet and greet. I love how we're just throwing these cards on the ground <laughs> in no particular order. All right, the rules are, where's hot pink? Oh, all right. Oh, you brought a mushroom. There's a lot of suspicion going on about this game up here, so. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get your names really quickly if you're comfortable. What's your name? Oh, actually, don't say your government name because that's something that we don't do here. So let's give you a drag name. You can either be... So 10 seconds, talk to your drag artist and think of a drag name and I'm gonna come around. Five, four, three, two, one. And wham. All right. All right, so, kind human, what is your drag name? King Dash. Nice, nice, can I just call you Dash for short? All right, everybody give it up for Dash. What's your, what's the drag name gonna be? Toad Stamp. 
toad stamp. Everybody get it for a toad stamp. Hello again. It's good to see you. You're looking lovely today. You're very welcome. What's your drag name going to be? My name is Patui, which is the spike ball from Super Mario Bros. 3. That's my inspiration. For those in the audience, um, Super Mario's is not a game that we'll be playing. For the YouTube in the back, it is not a game that we'll be playing on the internet. Hot Pink Shade, what is your partner's drag name? What is your drag name? Light Bright. Light Bright. <laughs> okay. So, y'all will have a chance. I think it's where you each pick a card on there, and if it matches, it matches. If it doesn't, you have to put the card back on the, based on time. Oh, so it's a, okay. So, Queen Andrew, John B, pick a number, okay? One through 10, okay? Queen Andrew, what's your number? Jack, what's your number? Marv, what's your number? Hopping Shade, what's your number? Four? Oh, dang. Light Bright was like four. <laughs> what's your number, John B? Eight, who's the closest? Who said, who said six? All right, step forward. You all have, based on time, I think it's under a minute. You have to match however fast you can, as all of them. So they're gonna time it. They have no idea what's going on besides they were just getting booked to perform. <laughs> they did not know the games were happening today and I think that's the best part about this drag show. <laughs> so you have to work with your partner. Do not push each other over. Do not punch each other in the mouths. This is not that kind of event, okay? If you want that kind of event, you can go to PAX East, okay? Sounds good? We are very, very, not the booing. Uh. All right, we're going to change this around. Welcome to Fight Night. Every, just kidding, no. <laughs> um, all right, so you just work together, match them all. Ready, on your mark, get set, go. Nope, flip it over. Nope, flip it over. Nope, you know where that was? No, right? <laughs> All right, that's one. Nope. Nope. Jennifer Lawrence, nope. That's two. <laughs> Dang, Andrew is so competitive. I need to step off the stage. Oh, wait. That's three. That's four. Are these popsicles or are they mushrooms? <laughs> That's five. That's six. Time. So I have seen Queen Andrew perform for the past four years. Never have I seen Andrew dive bomb for a mushroom card drawn on an airplane before in my life. <laughs> All right, what was the time on that? All right, can we flip them back over and then move them around? Yeah. All right, all right, we're gonna flip them back over. Everybody please give it up for, turn around, everybody turn around. You can turn back around. I should be a game show host. I think that'd be cool. All right. Toad stamp. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. Everybody say wah. Are y'all ready? Five, four, three, two, drag.
I'm like so enthralled, I'm not even talking on the mic. I'm just like. What is going on, you two? <laughs> I love how the cards have moved closer to the center of the things. Andrew and Dash are over here running across the stage like a four-mile track Olympic marathon. I think they've just turned over all the cards at this point. They're done. All right. Can we get our card shufflers? Card shufflers? Can we get our card shufflers? I'm not doing that. Time at the end? Okay. All right, we're shuffling the car. Wait, oh, they're turning around? Y'all can sing it. Sing it. All right, everybody can turn back around. Um, yeah, so Marv and non-copyrighted drag name. Um, uh, what was it again? Patui. Cutie Patui. Okay, sounds good. For legal reasons, that has nothing to do with the game on the internet. All right. Five, four, two, six. Drag. Go. They've already gotten one. Oh, they're talking? Oh, they're communicating, y'all. <laughs> Communication, everybody say, ooh. Oh, Marv is like in it to win it, y'all. <laughs> Was Marv the first one out in Ugly Turtle game? Yes, so Marv is like trying to redeem herself. Oh my gosh. They only have three left. Oh, period. All right. All right, everybody give it up for our card shufflers. Y'all are so cute. You guys should like date or something. <laughs> or get married, I don't know. You married them in drag? What's drag? I've never done it before. Maybe one day I'd be good at it. I love how all the cards are over here, and then if you can't see in the back, all the way over here <laughs> in Tacoma is what we call it. There are two cards. So, Hot Pink, if I may give you a piece of advice, get the Tacoma cards first. <laughs> all right. Seattle, Tacoma. PAX West, the airport. Which, <laughs> all right. Five, three, ten, drag. There's one. Light bright, you got this, bestie. That's two. That's three. Oh, that's four. Nope, that's a different shade of pink. That's five. That's six, seven. They're done. All right. 
drum roll, please. Who had the fastest time? May I please get the married person that was married in drag, even though I don't know what drag is. Oh. Oh, wow. She took that Uber here? OK. All right, humans of this audience, the winner of the floor matching game um, where they tumbled and rumbled in a fight night against each other is in a swift turn of events getting eliminated first round. They have won the second round. Everybody, please give it up for Cutie Patooie and Marv. 47 seconds, 47 se Wait, did I read that right? 41 seconds, 41 seconds. And the not so 41 seconds at a minute and seven seconds. Um, announcing this out loud, I will not be booked with her ever again. <laughs> but Queen Andrew, we're so sorry. You have to step it up, sister. She said, it happens. <laughs> All right, we're going to clean these cards off, and we're going to say goodbye to our special drag guest of the day. Everybody, please give it up for Dash, Toad Stamp, Cutie Patooie, and Light Bright. Y'all can get off the stage. Y'all can get off the stage. Get off the stage. All right, this is our last game. You know, we're going to ease right into it. This is my favorite game. All right, we're going to clean up the cards. Everybody, please give it up for Minty. Drag art. Don't stare at me. You're the one dive rolling for cards on the ground. How do you feel? The competition's pretty stiff today. I feel pretty good. A little defeated after that last game, though. Oh. Waluigi, a.k.a. King Jack. How do you feel about the last two rounds? And do you think that you're going to really bring it up in this next one? Wow. Very insightful. Marv, you're the only person not from Seattle here today, besides half the audience. How do you feel about competing against Seattle Drag? Do you think that you're going to be able to compete in this competition still? Or do you think that you're just going to let them have it? I think if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Wise words from Huntsville, Alabama. Hot pink. If a train is going 56 kilometers south, just kidding. How do you feel about this composition? I mean. Testing. I mean, I'm ready. Are you ready? That's a lot. All right, we'll see each other at PAX East for fight night. We'll see how it is. All right, I think we're ready. So I have three, four, four pictures of people that may or may not look like Marco. That is what we're going to call it today, Marco. So can I please get the three to four pictures of Marco here? <clears throat> This is Marco, everybody. Everybody say hi, Marco. For 75 cents a day, you too can save a drag artist from playing the Marco game. But that's not happening here today. Today, we're going to pin some items on Marco while blindfolded. So these drag artists are going to cover themselves in fans. Hopefully, that don't touch their face because the, you know, makeup. Um, and they're going to blindfold, they're going to pull things out of a bag and put it on Marco. So the closest person to Marco's resemblance wins. The, post, the closest person to a resemblance, audience choice. So you guys, y'all can really determine who's going to win today. Please be respectful. Also, please be really shady and petty at the same time. But also, please be respectful. But also, 
please be petty and shady at the same time. Can I please? Who has not gone first? Hot Pink Shade. You said, are you ready? So are you actually ready? Please step forward. All right. Is, so, Hot Pink, you're going to grab something out of that bag, and you're going to put it on there, OK? All right. Stick your hand into that, that rainbow mini IKEA bag. Sorry, non-labeled company bag. I think that there's two things on there. We're going to separate them. All right. Now just put your item on anywhere on Marco. Did you drop it? No? OK, we're good. You can still see. I can see you looking. Audience, do we think that hot pink shade should be this? Just kidding, no. I think you looked. Did I do it? She said. <laughs> You did something. All right. Please do not punch our helper here today. Thank you for consoling them. Um, OK. No, you. I'm not going to direct you. Yeah, anywhere. Oh, shut up. Bye. I think you. OK, OK. Can the audience help them? No? No? Oh, she don't want help. She got it. All right, here we go. You got this. If that was a hat, I think it'd be a hat. You don't get to look. It was it was something. It was something. I got told to shut up in the middle of it, so. I just want to let you know that Hot Pink Shade bullied me. If anybody has any votes toward Hot Pink Shade, um, this is now House of Dragons. Um, so wish Hot Pink Shade good luck. Um, all right. Can we get our next non-ambiguous drawing of Marco? If you all like my, if you all. Did you draw these all on the plane? Your markers ran out? Well, you spent more time on this hair than the other hair over there. All right. If y'all like this, if y'all like these games, my name is London Bradshaw. If you don't like this name, my name is Bosco from RuPaul's Drag Race. So. Can I please get Wah to the stage? Oh my gosh. No, you're choosing. Oh, there's two things, yes. You can put them both on there at the same time. Did you mean no or did you mean where? Okay, here we go. Yep, right there. Yeah, you're good. Yep.
Very demure, very mindful. If you could tell me that my day job was getting up here and watching drag artists play pin the tail on the Marco, I would have never guessed. Please give it up for King uh, Wan. Whew. That was a lot. I thought the first one was a lot. That was definitely. All right, we're going to need some audience participation in some sort of manner. Can I please get Marv to the board? So, Marv, you came into Seattle, Washington, saying if you ain't got to get rid, you don't, what did you say? Oh, don't yell at me, jeez. I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm kidding. I love you so much. What was it one more time? If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. We'll see about that. This is the most non- this is something. <laughs> All right. Can I get the helper up here, please? Marv, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? This marker looks like it got punched in the mouth. Say it looks like your. Do you say what I thought you just said? Can I say it on the microphone? Mar said it looks like their cousin from Alabama. Say with that what you will, but it came from Mar's mouth, not from mine. So everybody, give it up for Marv. All right, everybody, please make a lot of noise for Queen Andrew, our last contestant. Are you ready? <laughs> Just wanted to mess with you a little. All right, here we go. Hold on. Th there's no reason you can go. Are you sure you're ready? Oh my God. You don't have to shout. We can get tacos on Tuesday, jeez. All right, audience, she's gonna need a lot of help. Shut up. No, you're doing great, sister. She has done a competition on TV, so she's really stressed right now. <laughs> Not the PTSD, girl. Like when you told us all that you were going on a camping trip and then disappeared for two weeks, that was interesting. 
I've been your best friend for eight years, and I hope you really don't win this. Oh. You're doing great. She's really taking this stuff seriously. I think you should just leave the leave it off. <laughs> I'm not cheating. I need you to hold this. Andrew, hold yours. And we're going to bring out our favorite. <laughs> My mother once told me, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> we're going to hold something for the board is hot pink. Hot pink had to go backstage and change real quick. So. Please make a lot of noise. Choose your favorite. It could be perfect, doesn't have to be perfect. We're here to have a good time at the end of the day. So, please make a lot of noise for Hot Pink Shade. Okay, okay. Please make a lot of noise for King Jack. Please make a lot of noise for Marv. Please make a lot of noise for Queen Andrew. All right, you have all made your decision. Drum roll, please. We're going to announce the winner. The winner of season one of Italian Plumber Saga is John B. It's just like, I don't know, it's like, they already had the crown on, so it just kind of made sense. So like, it, I, yeah, I think that's, that's, the winner in, that's the winner in my heart. So we'll see you all for season two. Or you could break the crown and hand it off to everybody else. Do you want to break it in half and share it? Or, <laughs> all right, we're gonna move this stuff off stage. Um, uh, Y'all are free to go change your outfits for some drag numbers. Uh, are y'all having a good time so far? Make the most noise if you're not having a good time. Do you live here? Do you know me? What'd you say? You're on what with me? Oh, you were. Oh, you were. Hi. So they. So you know, since we both know the city, that I will follow you home tonight, right? <laughs> Just kidding. For legal reasons, that was a joke. You screamed louder than everybody screamed at the Beyonce partner or concert when she said everybody on mute. So thank you for that. That just makes me want to go to therapy even more than I already do. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about why we're here today. Again, this event is put on by Stream for a Cause. In all seriousness, um, Stream for a Cause has been around for about three years, I think. Four years, excuse me. That is long. That is as long as I've been streaming on Twitch. Um, they have been by my side every step of the way. Most importantly this year, there was an incident that I had where I had 
no place to live. And by that, I mean my house burned down um, by a swift turn of events. And they were here um, with me, helping me through that. Um, amongst a lot of people here in the audience, I see some of the friendly faces that helped me through that. So without them, I would not have a nice place to live now, um, which was conveniently three minutes away from the Seattle Convention Center. <laughs> And as a drag artist, I was still late to the event. <laughs> so I'm going to have Jombie come up real quick, if that's OK. No? Do you want to come up and talk a little bit about Stream for a Cause? Yeah? Maybe? Uh, what are you putting your gloves on for? You look like you're about to like, what is this, Dexter? Here you go. Hi, everybody. My name is Robbie. Um, I'm the executive director and founder of Stream for a Cause. So Stream for a Cause started four years ago. This is really not working, actually. Yeah. OK, so Stream for a Cause started four years ago. Our purpose is to connect the funds that are raised by content creators to grassroots. What? Oh. My mom has always told me I'm really loud. I didn't actually think I'd need it, but that's OK. My name is Jombie, Robbie. Oh my God, he confused me. My name is Robbie. I'm the executive director of Stream for a Cause. SFAC, thank you. Okay, okay. Um, SFAC is a nonprofit organization that believes in giving back at the local level. We raise money with hundreds of content creators and we use it to make grants for grassroots and community based nonprofits all over the world that are doing the work. Yeah. The places like our local food pantries, our local pride organizations. Yeah, I like pride. Um, our local shelter houses. All of those things that we kind of take for granted when we're thinking about where to give. We try to make sure that they're able to have the support that they need to take the next steps in their organization. We're so grateful to be working with everybody here at PAX. We're so excited for what we're going to be able to provide this year and for years to come. And we are just so happy that all of you came out here tonight for the drag show. Are you having a wonderful time? Should we have more drag? Or like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'll take that to my manager. Um, at the end of the day, what we really care about is making sure that everybody feels like they have a place to be seen, a place to feel like they belong, and a place that makes them feel like they have a community. Because that's kind of what we're all looking for, right? Is a place to belong. And that's such a wonderful thing that we have here at PAX. And I'm so grateful to each of you for coming out today and supporting our local drag artists in Seattle. Um, I'm going to turn it back over to London. But if you'd like to be involved with anything about Stream for a Cause, anybody a content creator? Do I have any? Oh, I got a couple. Hey. Hey. I see you. Um, Definitely check us out, streamforacause.org. You can follow us on any of our socials or jump into our Discord and just hang out and chat. But I promise you that you'll have a wonderful time with people who are really happy that you're there. So I'm going to give it back to London, but thank you all for a wonderful night. Wow. I love Stream for a Cause. Um, all right, y'all. I think it's time to see some drag numbers. Is that OK with you? <laughs> Um, again, like I said earlier, we want all the energy you have in you. I know there are two more days left of PAX, but I'm going to drain you of all your energy now. So if you're having a good time and you like something, feel free to jump out of your seat. Um, don't attack anybody next to you. Just, you know, cheer, dance, um, scream. Let's try that right now. When I was offered this position to host this convention drag show, I booked some of our local Seattle drag performers that are top notch, high energy. So you're about to get a lot of energy from all of us um, in so many facets, whether it be like R&B, whether it be like dancing, whether it be not, um, things like that. So again, if you're having a good time, make some noise. If you're not having a good time, like that person in the back, um, we can pretend that we're having a good time, and I just want him to make some noise. Thank you. <laughs> just kidding. I love you. Um, uh, and then if you, like, you're really, really not having a good time, that's okay. You can go home and finish watching Interview with the Vampire. That's all for all I care. Um, uh, please welcome the stage from Final Fantasy. Oh, most of these numbers are going to be video game slash gaming community slash... I told them that they had to be super nerds. 
Um, oh, a message from a bird. Oh, we've had a change recently. <laughs> I said a whole entire different franchise. <laughs> I don't know how I could get Final Fantasy and League of Legends mixed up, but <laughs> it's probably because I played. Do not give me that thumbs down. <laughs> I'll see you on my Twitch channel. Um, all the way from League of Legends, a game that I've never played before. <laughs> um, and if I had played, you would not catch me every Monday night playing the game um, by Riot. I'm going to step down here now. Please make a lot of noise for Serafina from League of Legends. Hot pink shirt! Can we turn it up all the way up? Can we jam? Can we pump these jams? Can we start it over? Please make a lot of noise for the one and only Serafina from League of Legends, Hot Pink Shade! KDA, should we show them how we do it every day? Kali go girl, Kali don't stop, Kali don't skirt, Kali got a job, Kali got a word, they go on Jenna, don't get burned. Num chakala more than a rough bed, you got shana like a rough bed, you got me on my half bed, come when you're too so rough day, I'm giving you more cause I'm better than Pidom the Shion the Bunny me, but all of my numbers are talking bang, put on my own messes monopoly, no jongi don't need number money, pido up the non the demon and don't go get it, go get it, go get it, the mission to learn what they want to go then all the good cause I got a death friend. It's life upon the throne. See the cabin, good tripping in the yeah, you want more. Now I got it so deep though. You look like you could use some more. Now I got it, never running low. Yeah, I got it more than enough, and it up and away. You know I got it like bum bum. Pink, get back here, get back here, get back here.
Oh, you thought you were done. <laughs> this is a do-it-yourself drag show. You're tired. You want to do it again? Okay, just here. Hot Pink, what inspired you to do drag? <laughs> Money. Um. <laughs> Please give it up for Hot Pink Shade. No, but seriously, being able to do what I love, entertain, heal, and honestly, just be fabulous. Like, hello? Like, <laughs> very few people have the courage and the discipline to come up and do what they do, what I do, and what those performers in the back do. So the fact that I can do this and also maybe inspire somebody who's like, I don't know, seven or eight, who knows they're different, but doesn't know where to turn, something that I didn't have grown up, ish. <laughs> like, sure, the money's, <laughs> the money's ball. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't care, call me cheesy, call me corny, I don't care. The greatest gift is being able to save somebody's life that hasn't even reached puberty because they know it's okay to be different. That's, that's the best thing ever. Please make a little noise for Hot Pink Shirt! All right. Uh, I have nothing to say about this performer. They drive me up a wall in the best way possible because their drag is just so entertaining. And again, say it, out, say it with me. Book Drag Kings. Book Drag Kings. Book Drag Kings. Please make a lot of noise uh, for the one and only King Jack. <laughs> Time for Waluigi.
Make a lot of noise for King Jack. I don't know if you want to talk or not because you just ran around the whole room. Oh, here he is. I just want to know a question for you from me, Lennon Bradshaw, your sister. Hey. Are you good? You're, do you want like five seconds? Four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Why is Drag King representation so important? I know that you that's a whole entire essay within itself right now, but I need it in under 10 seconds. We've always existed. We will always exist. So you might as well get on board and join us. Say it with me one more time. Book Drag Kings. Uh. All right, y'all. This next performance. This next performance um, has been shared across the world. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'm so excited to see it, see it live. On the plane here, uh, Jinx Monsoon, a local Seattle drag artist. Um, she's very indie. No one's ever heard of her before. Um, she retweeted this performance um, and retweeted her, um, and that's all I'm going to say. All the way from Huntsville, Alabama, an organizer and one of the producers of this drag show, give it up for Marv. to the dark hide away they say cause we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars run away they say no one will love you as you are but I won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us for we are glorious When the sharpest words wanna cut me down I'm gonna send a flag, gonna drown them out I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be This is me, Mario! Look out, cause here I come Mamma mia! I'm not scared to be seen, I make no apologies, this is me, Mario! Mamma mia! Another round of bullets hits my skin, well fire away, cause today I won't let Mario! Down. Ouch! Mamma 
Mamma mia! This is a brave. This is a bruise. This is who I mean to be. This is me, Mario. Mario! Make a lot of noise! Have your moment, have your moment! Give it up for more! Y'all, I woke up at 10 a.m. to get ready for brunch one day. That video had already like six likes. As soon as brunch was over, it was over like a million likes, right? And like, oh no, it's not there yet? We'll say that. So I have a very important question. Now that you're in Seattle and did that number um, as an Italian plumber, how fast do you think that Nintendo's on the way here already from Redmond? I'm gonna have to walk past their booth very fast. Heavy bang, walk fast, no eye contact. Um, why is drag important to you, Marv, as a, I don't want to use the word that we'll use, but if you want to explain how you identify yourself um, in drag and whatnot. I am a cis woman. <gasps> shocking. That is shocking. Uh, but it's important to me because we're all born naked and the rest is drag. And... And drag is for everybody, and anybody can do drag. And uh, thank you so much again for PAX and uh, to Stream for a Cause for having us here today and creating this space for us. And thank you so much for being here. Y'all have made history being here at the first ever drag show at PAX. So give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, Mario. It's so nice to finally say the word Mario. I've been holding back. They were worried about me saying a bad word. I was worried about saying that name. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all. All right, we have two numbers left. I know. It kind of sucks. Um, but this next performer, I think, is, like, super hot and talented. Um, again, she's super cool. She, um, you know, there's a lot I could say about her. Um, it's not, like, good things or bad things. But, like, every day when I look in the mirror, I think, dang, I'm a good performer. <laughs> and I think I should show you all that here today, right? So I'm going to give uh, Robbie this microphone, and I think I'm going to show you a couple of things that I could do.
Whoever that performer was, she's kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you all for letting me perform for you. <laughs> I'm like out of breath. <laughs> and we have eight minutes left. So I think it's time for like a main event, OK? <laughs> she was on Drag Latina season two. That is a Latinx, Latin American version of Drag Race. And she made it to the top four of her season. And she's about to show you why. I'm going to go glue my wig back down. But she hopefully has wig and glue on hers. Please make a lot of noise for one of my best friends, Queen Andrew. I'm 
bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Sons of bitches. Got anything else to say? Now's the fucking time! Hush, just stop. There's nothing you can do. can't be taken for granted. Life's a bitch. Now so am I. Finish her! No, 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 no. Bring the beat back. Bitch, <laughs> why are you mad? Cause my pussy pops. 
of healing and your thoughts are... I have nothing nice to say to you because you're sometimes you. <laughs> just kidding, no. I just want to let you guys know that this is one of the most booked drag artists in Washington State. <laughs> and uh, she bent over backwards to make time for all of you, one of the most professional people I've ever seen, and this is the reason why we love drag. Uh, make some noise for Queen Andrew. Y'all, that's that's it. That was the show. Did, you can say, oh. Do you want to meet them one more time? Please make a lot of noise. The one and only Hot Pink Shane. Please make a lot of noise for King Jack. Please make a lot of noise for Marv, Mario Les. And make a lot of noise from Drag Latina season four, or season two, in the top four, Queen Andrew! <laughs> All right, get out of the way. And I'm as your host, Bosca, just kidding. It's me, Lennon Bradshaw! I want to give a huge, 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 huge shout out, y'all. You do not understand. This is pretty tight for a first drag show. Is there a person named Leah who gave a chance to put drag in PAX West? Where's Leah? Where's Leah, where are you? I just want to take the time to mention, as a black woman, she made a queer space for you all today to come and watch drag. <laughs> and if I don't know what more importance that is, I think that you should recognize that. So give a shout out to Leah one more time. <laughs> and give a huge shout out to everybody in the back. Please give it up for your Stream for Cost staff all right here. And make a huge noise for the founders, Ryan and Robbie. Hopefully we will see you all next year. I want everybody, we're out of time. There's a giant timer if no one understood that. I'm like, oh yeah, we're having a good time. Um, uh, if you all can pull out your phones, this is your chance to take a picture and tag drag at PAX West. Step forward, step forward. All right, we're going to start. Everybody look this way. Drag members look this way. All right, drag members look this way. All right, and then look forward. Again, y'all. If you like the drag show, y'all, it's Lennon Bradshaw. If you didn't like the drag show, my name is Irene Dubois. Have a good night. <laughs>